this idea that only uh, blockbuster films will get money is crass. Uh, it's a typical Tory notion that uh, only big is good. Nevertheless, there is a shift in emphasis. They still like great art, but they really want it to be popular and profitable. David Silito, BBC News. Well, uh, Fabian Riggle has been a filmmaker and is the creator of innovative film events, including Future Shorts Film Festival and Secret Cinema. He's with me now. I mean, the problem seems to be is nobody really knows what a hit's going to be. I mean, if you, even if you're making a Hollywood sequel, you're not sure if it's going to be a flop or not, are you? Well, that's it. I think that it's really important to support the culture of film, both in production and distribution. And I think that it's really important. Uh, the project that we run, Secret Cinema, 18,000 people bought a ticket without knowing what film they're going to see. So I think that that kind of tells you that actually it's more about the culture cinema and the experience of going to the cinema. But, but do you accept that in the past, perhaps, films have been made because there's been no other funding, and there's been a very good reason that there's been no other funding forthcoming, because it just wasn't a particularly good idea? Well, I, I think, yeah, I think, that's, I think that's very valid. I think that, but I think what, what David Cameron was really saying is that to, to, to support commercial films, but you don't really know whether the film's going to be a commercial, really. And, and I think you do need to support all types of filmmakers, including Lynn Ramsey and Shane Meadows to Ken Loach, to Mike Lee, but to all the young filmmakers, short filmmakers, um, and, and I guess you, you can't just, you can't say you're going to support commercial film, you have to develop all kinds of film. Is this going to, though, restrict and hamper, do you think, that sort of freedom, that artistic create, creative freedom that filmmakers uh, have enjoyed up until now, which has produced hits? I mean, for example, this latest black and white silent film, uh, The Artist, if you presented that to a, a commissioning uh, or, or a bank or some fund, uh, some backers, and said, Look, "I want to make a black and white," I mean, how many people on paper would, would stump up millions for that? Yeah, I think that's I think that's very true, and I think that the the artist is a great example of just an incredible film that could have easily become a very small film, but it's captured the imagination and it's been distributed in the right way, and it's now you know a, a hugely successful film. But I think what we've noticed with our audience is that people find it quite hard sometimes to see the artist because sometimes in multiplexes you've got certain films playing in three screens out of eight and I think that that's really really important to, to invest in the in the development of the audience and their experience. Is there a risk then now do you think if this goes ahead this report comes out next week that perhaps the whole of British cinema could be dulled and thwarted in some sort of way and all those imaginative quirky interesting things like Wallace and Gromit for example which really caught people's imagination might not materialise, might never be made. Well, I think I'm, I'm looking forward to, 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 to hearing the whole, I guess, the, the, when the policy does come out. But I, I, I think there is a risk, and I do, I do hope that they'll support everything from the development of talent all the way through. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll understand that The King's Speech is a film that was rejected by both uh, the BBC and Channel 4, um, but went on to become the most important British film or the most uh, commercial British film of all time. And I think it's... The King's Speech and the, the other film that you mentioned, um, Tyrannosaur, I think, it, you know, you never know what's going to happen. And I think it's important that, that, that films show the stories that come out of England, um, whether they're, you know, I guess, Julian Fellow type stories or, or other type of stories. All right, Fabian Riggle, thank you very much indeed for coming and uh, joining us on the programme today.